Tonight, an exclusive ABC 15 investigation into the mystery on Camelback Mountain. Hiking tragedy. A woman from out of state dying. She was hiking with this Phoenix police officer. We broke the story. Now the ABC 15 investigators hiking the trails, retracing Angela Tremonte's last steps to uncover new clues and discover stunning new details. The mystery surrounding Angela Tremonte's death grabbed the nation's attention. She met Phoenix officer Dario Dizdar online, and on July 30th, she flew in from Boston to meet him for the but first time. The next day is when she was found dead alone up against a house on the side of a mountain. Tonight, the ABC 15 investigators and Dave Biscoping take us back to the scene. We're at the base of Camelback Mountain, at the head of Echo Canyon Trail. We're here with some of the mountain's most regular hikers. Um, a couple times a week for Three me. Three times a week. Uh, I just did it twice this morning, actually. Jess Shapiro and Mark Harrell believe Angela should still be alive. Should this have happened the way it ended? No, no absolutely not. At all. not. No. They agreed to help retrace Angela Tremonte's last steps with our team of photographers and a drone. But before we set off, there's another important thing to remember from that day. Halfway up, she becomes overheated, wants to turn around. He tells her to turn around, go back down to the parking lot. The two did not bring any water and split during the hike. Makes his way up to the top, comes all the way back down to the parking lot. She's not here. This picture is from a bachelor party hiking on the trail that day. They accidentally captured the moment Dario Dizdar and Angela separated. It's key to retracing her steps. Um, about how far uh, is this? And I know you guys know kind of a specific area where this is. You say it's like by 15 or 16? Yeah, approximately 15 or 16. What does that mean? What does that number mean? There's markers on the trail. So we're right now in between like two and three right here. Echo Canyon Trail is 1.14 miles. The elevation change, 1,400 feet. We begin our ascent at 10 a.m., the same time as Angela and Dario. But there's a difference. This day, it's 79 degrees. On July 30th, it was 103. It's a busy, busy. Yes, it is. It wouldn't be like this in, in the summer, though. The hike gets harder as you go, something we learned after we climbed the first section near Marker 9. We have the stairs and then the two pole sections. The rails, yeah. And that's hard stuff. That's double diamond stuff there. After the rails, we reach about the halfway point. Enjoying the view up here at 13. It's not far from where many believe Angela and Dario separated. Oh, so you think it's right here? Yeah, so I think the picture was taken from there. Yeah. Down this way. But as we pull out the picture, try to create that exact angle. A little, little higher. We realize it's not right. It's not around the halfway point as initially reported. It's not even close. Oh, you know where it might be? Just up. Is it that Saguaro that's with the five? That's what I was just wondering, yeah. So that's what I was in. 26. Now. She made it really, really far. That's she exactly. was there already. By really, really far, Jess means almost to the top. I'm going to go up with them. The rest of the trail's terrain gets even harder, so we split from the camera crew and all of our gear. Carrying a small camera in my hand, the drone tracks us as we continue to the spot. So it took us a while, but we found out exactly where they separated and split. You can see basically this this saguaro cactus here is the same on the picture we have. So what do you think this says about what this says about what we now know? I mean, how high they went up with no water on a 100 degree day? She or, would have been maxed out by the time she headed down. I mean, we're, yeah, we're almost to the top. Yeah, we're close. So why did they separate? Dario claimed Angela asked him to go to the top and take pictures for her social media and then meet at the bottom. So close to the peak, it no longer makes sense to Mark or Jess about why they split. I would have made her stay here. I would have took her phone and went up and got her pictures and made her stay right here until I got and came back. But up here, something else now makes a lot more sense. So do you think it makes even more sense that as she got down closer towards the, the break there, she might have been disoriented, trying to figure out what to do and panicked? Or Absolutely. Because if she hadn't had a drop of water from the time that she started and came up here, it, it would have been bad, bad situation. As we descend the mountain, our focus, how and where Angela got off the trail, one witness told us he saw Angela alone, heading down past both rail sections. And much of the hike's middle section is fenced, that is unless she slipped under. But then, about two-thirds of the way down, Mark and Jess point out this post and so sign it. represents Echo, and it points that way, but it doesn't say to parking or anything. Mm -hmm. And this says to Echo Saddle, which is just that little area. If you were confused and looking for the word echo, you would go that way potentially. So and the, the and house is where? See, yeah. The house is right down there. And if you go right from the sign, you'll come to a fence, the same one that hikers have had to follow for hundreds of yards. At the end, there's this break. 
On the other side, you immediately see the house, the one with the gray roof, where Angela was found laying near a door, already dead. If you just keep following that fence, that's and you hit that break up. and you're starting to feel desperate, oh, absolutely. here's your opportunity, here's some homes. I mean, do you think that's probably the most likely? That seems like it, because otherwise I couldn't figure out how she would end up down here, but I, I, I see it now. Surveillance cameras on the house were off, but a fire rescue team member reported something similar, telling investigators, he had come from the top of the ridge, due west of the residence where there was a break in the fence. He noticed some recently disturbed soil, indicating Angela's possible descent off the mountain. I actually didn't know about the break. But I could see how you could make your way through those Palo Verdes and end up on that back patio. We obtained Angela's autopsy, the manner of death, an accident, the cause of death, environmental heat exposure, the only injuries, red abrasions on her extremities. We also got police records stating GPS data from Angela's phone indicates she could have gotten off trail higher up. The phone GPS isn't always pinpoint accurate. Plus, remember, witnesses saw her well down the trail. And as we stand here overlooking the home, a couple things still stand out. First, Angela was found with her phone, but she never called for help. And then, maybe the hardest realization. Behind us, past the fence, a few more dozen steps over the ridge, and she would have seen the parking lot. Made national news, right? Oh, yeah. why, why do you think it just struck the chord that it did well i think for the regulars this is our house this is like this is our home so for that tragedy to happen here and for someone that was local and claimed to be a regular hiker to not have made smarter decisions i mean for a police a guest, officer a police officer at that stay with your with, partner you have a guest <laughs> with you that's not used to the trail you stay with them stay with your partner because you have a commitment to make sure they get off this mountain safely i'm investigator dave biscoving abc 15 arizona Dave's investigation is not over. He obtained a copy of the Phoenix case file. It clears Dario Dizdar, but has some surprising details. Uh, during the search, officers went to the home twice, but missed Angela the first time. Dario Dizdar says he also got lost and had to Uber back to the parking lot. Turns out he ended up in the same neighborhood, captured on surveillance video coming from the mountain just four houses away from where Termonte was found. Dave's next report dives into all of that and more coming up on Monday.